Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you another diesel engine conversion. Removing the remove the governor. As you can see it's in the middle now. And I plan to use the one I use for the huts, which this is has uh, ball bearings in it with uh, so the resistance is really low. And it has already this thing could cut this thing off because it needs to be shorter, the diameter can grind it. And I marked already the same pattern as the shim washer I made lately for the ignition uh, injection uh, timing mark. There's the governor. I also plan to use the carburetor air filter mixer thingy, which has also been used for the huts. Joke is not necessary anymore. Ignition. But, uh, coil there's a magnet on it I can thread this in the wheel probably this wheel this aluminium wheel it's easier you can just drill some holes at some angles at it and lowering the compression ratio was easier than I thought I calculate I just I, I first make the pimples inside and on there and like shown in this picture it's the speed of air piston uh, mechanism, whatever you call it, technology that makes a kind of a golf ball piston surface for turbulent layers. So the boundary layer is smaller and the combustion efficiency is higher. And uh, yeah, so the combustion efficiency is higher. So more fuel will burn. And it will mix more whenever you get the squ squash. Because the air is forced inside this chamber whenever it reaches the top dead center. While it's igniting or injecting, it will squash the thing inside. I also made this little tiny spark plug, which is now orientated so that fresh air is always and the exhaust the expanded exhaust gas which is not as hot anymore as the combustion it's always flowing here even with the overlap of the pistons there are some scavenging effect probably which will cool this thing it's been pressed inside with a 15 millimeter to a 20 millimeter stainless steel pipe and then I put 0.8 millimeter Teflon around it because the normal spark plug thingy didn't fit anymore so I made Teflon around this for isolation and some tape and Teflon around there and now it can go inside so you have uh, almost a 1.6 millimeter Teflon layer in between with some air and that will do for the I hope it will do and it can also sustain quite some temperatures Teflon can get that uh, right 250 C and be okay so now let's place it on there and be back in it in, in it so everything's finished I guess carburetor air filter control the air in here gas comes in here Get started in the engine, present ignition, and it's the governor system linkage. It matches exactly the maximum angle of the. It's pretty frictionless, by the way. Matches exactly the angle that makes it go full throttle and low throttle. With all these holes, I made it. That the tanks or the, or the that did maximum angle triggers the maximum angle of the gas turtle. Ignition sensor is on here. I made this thing movable in between uh, zero degrees or at least plus ten degrees up to minus 20 degrees 
or 20 degrees before top dead center. I got a mark here on the casing and I got a mark here on the wheel. Four marks actually. There we go. Those are 10 degrees each. To 40 degrees, but we never see the 30 and 40 with this sliding thing and the stroboscope. Now on 10 degrees, so I'm gonna try beaming it here with one hand and start it. I think you could have seen something, but I'm not sure. Camera, it looks a little weird. So uh, maybe it's not holding up to the frames per second or whatever. But hey, it's been set to 10 degrees before top dead center, which is about uh, the amount I want to start it. And then we can advance it or retard it a bit from that point. But I know about 10 degrees will will at least start the engine. And because the higher the compression is, the higher or the later the ignition point should be well let's hook it all up and see if it starts it started right up magic hello And started right up first time. Here we go. Good job. Pretty good. I think I fixed the problem because the pickup coil was a little bit too near and it picked up probably some other um, magnetic fields. It seems to run best in between uh, 10 and 15 degrees so we just put it on there for now. We can tune it later. Put the key here. Oxygen sensor is also in place. This fire is fired up. Nice blue flame. And yeah, well, let's uncouple this one. One moment. And we're back. It's coupled now and it's blowing through it. Now let's see. Just let's make it a little speed, like maybe thousands or something. One second.
Wow, that thing runs beautiful. Connect the gasifier again. Get a run out. And the shutter. Uh, needs to pump the gas again. Beautiful. Wow, this thing is running pretty good. Although its reaction with the governor is not that precise. There's a quite a bit of uh, hysteresis going on. I bet that's because of the spring inside this. Look, you see? It wants to turn itself back. Most of the time the things will pull itself open. Because there is another spring here, I believe. But it has to pull itself a bit and then it closes itself whenever the speed. I think the hysteresis is good done away with that. So I'm gonna check it out what, it, what that does. One moment. Alrighty then, I'm gonna connect the pipes. I cannot do the one with one hand. Connected. There's an hysteresis spring, so it opens it up by itself now. It's not automatic. It's not too bad, so we're gonna see what it does. No. Oh. Thing must be on. High compression. Fortunately, I was unable to restart the generator because the battery is really dead. It didn't want to charge after half an hour or something at 10 amps of charging. 8 amps, it's now back to, to 5 amps again, but it didn't start the engine. So I can't check out my. Uh, is Teresa spring but hey uh, what I've been running is the battery charger it takes about 800 to 900 watts the fridge and some lights so that will be 1200 watts three times uh, yeah what is it and they use two amps while free spinning so 500 watt each 1512 is 2700 we have this thing that uses 200 watts when it runs and this one 100 watts or so so we're about about 3 kilowatts and then I can even start the air compressor which is 1.5 kilowatts so this is over 4 kilowatts although the RPM will drag it down to about 2800 and 50 or 40, let's say 2800, where it's supposed to be 3000. Although, while you, while I was running it, I came to the conclusion that if I push the lever a bit, it will speed up a bit. So it ha has the power to keep up, but for now the battery needs to be replaced, and that will be for another time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And see you next time. Thank you for watching.